start of the week, we were around this area right here. And all I want to take in consideration is that at this area, you get to Sunday. We just want to focus on how when Sunday came, price already established that price has made a high one above a level of resistance that was once support in the past. Indication that price does want to try and trade back above this level. Why? It's not a complete indication. It's just because price only came above a level of support that was one that a level of resistance that was one support, and now price only just broke just a little bit above the high level that happened in the past. Why this matters is because this high level was once a resistance turned into support to help buyers. So because that happened, that level of support turned back into resistance and then ended up continuing the trend. Us coming back above the support is okay. If we just need to see continuation and establish a level of support from here. If we do not, price will simply do what it did again. When price came here, it treated this level as resistance since it didn't break through, made a low, then a lower high, and then a lower low, trending right back under this zone. So when you see that, this could have been an easy sell play for you just simply because you would have seen the breakup structure from the trend here you would have seen the retest and you would have just told yourself when price was trading back below you would have hopped in sales to attack this low level right here and it would have got hit now let's go down to the one hour as we go to the one hour you can see when price did start trading back below and you were trying to catch these sell plays you would have clearly seen price was acting a lot making a lot of noise trying to get as many people out and in it as possible but if we do go back to the four hour you can clearly see that this was just indicating that price one made a higher low and failed to break this low after trying and leaving a wick level right there going back to the one hour you were simply going to tell yourself because from this place, if you remember, we were on a downtrend. This was a break of structure area. With a break of structure area, this gave an indication of a high and then began the pullback. A pullback was a okay. Why it wasn't going from swing high to swing low was because if we do go back to the four hour, it was not really a major structure. So price could play around if it wanted, but his goal was to take as many people out as possible. Now seeing this, all you're telling yourself is when you see price trading back above this zone, you will tell yourself, I want to either hop in buys, stop loss below, or if you've seen price play this lower high momentum, you could have taken the risk, traded right here, stop loss could have been here or under this level, and you would have caught the buys back above, and that would have been the reason to hold your trade. And now we're just waiting to see if we can come above this level of resistance in the past, because if we can, then we will attack the next resistance and trying to turn this into support to then continue this trend in the confirmation because this high is indicating that bullish momentum is in the market and buyers have a chance to push the market up and keep going. And since price came all the way down here, failing to make a new low, this is giving you another indication. Now price making a break of structures, trending back above, that is your third and that should be a good entry play if you would have caught it right here. Now, all we're waiting for is we can see if we can trade back above here. Because if we can't trade back above here, we can play a little risky buy and attack this level and then go in for more. That being said, let's go move on to CAD Chief. With CAD Chief, taking consideration that CAD Chief is kind of on the same exact trend. Price made a break of structure, made it high. Then once price indicated making a high, you can see price retested, failed to stay above here, and failed to stay above here, so price ended up attacking the major low. Just remember that, price can attack the major low if it wants to, it's just about if it's going to break it or not. When you see price trading back, price fails to break this level, all you are telling yourself is if you've seen price trading back above this break of structure, you could have hopped in buys and you would have been targeting this. Especially this area you would have took in consideration just because you would have told yourself if price is trading above, you can hold your trade. But if price is failing to stay above this level, you could have either took your profits just off of seeing price starting to sell off. You could have took your profits or you would have just held the zone because you would have had a TP1 and a TP2. That's really it. But this level is important just because this was a level of resistance trying to turn support. So if price was to stay under this level, 
then you could start seeing, well, not stay under, but treat this level as a level of resistance instead of support. Then you would see price at least trade back down here. And if price was to break, you can then potentially go back to the major low down there. So taking this level of resistance in consideration, you just wanted to see price at least treat this level as a resistance, which it tried to, but you can see once price made this high, end up selling off, then tried to push up and ended up breaking this level. But once it did, Price, when price makes a new high, you can expect bearish momentum. And because price isn't really making a new high from this one, you have to take that in consideration that this price is now in a form of consolidation. But just take in consideration that this was your trade, so you could either hold or take profits from this level. And your main focus is trying to get to this target. So all you want to see is if price is selling off, you want to see if price is going to stay above this breakout structure or not. That being said, you want to, but that being said, with this breakup structure, now understanding that, all right, if price is to stay above this level, you can see the bullish indication happen more than once, more than twice. But if you do see price starting to sell back under, you could hop in sells, which is risky. But the reason why it's not as risky, let me fix this real quick. The reason why it's not as risky is if the, is, is, is simply because that if you see that price is trending, if you see that price didn't make a level of support here and you were to hop in sales here, don't be surprised that if price starts to buy from this level, that's why I would say, oh, if you want to hop in a safe position, you can wait for this break because you know price will automatically be selling back down to these low levels down here. Um, if I do go to the daily time frame, you can clearly see that this low level is this low level right here. So that's this level that's important. So you want to see if price is going to break this level or not. I could mark the box, but I already do have the wick in mind because I can see how price is trending, trying to break this level. And that's really all I'm focused on. Now, with that being said, I'm looking at CAD JPY. Price has already made the move. We are consolidating and now trying to trade back under this resistance. So I just want to see if we can establish a level of support or see if we will be breaking this low level right here. So this move is just really all about patience, but with CAD, JPY, price could start selling off from here simply because this was a level of resistance. But if we do see price starting to trade above this area, we could play a risky buy and potentially see if we'll break this high. If we don't break this high, we could simply just take our small profits because this right here is just a light 36, 36, 38 pips. So I would just want to see if price can trade back above so we can attack this high. And if not, then we'll just be we'll just honestly be waiting because if we do go to the higher time frame, price is on a downtrend. So we really want to see if price would stay under this level. And then from this level, why this is risky is just because this level was a level of break of structure. So just trading back below it isn't the best confirmation. We really want to see the lower highs are continuously being made. And then once we see price trading under this level, then we could play sales and attack the slow level to see if we'll get broken from there. And that's really it with CAD JPY and CAD Chief. I can do one more New York pair and then that will be it for the 430 session. I will edit it up and I'll drop it in the telegram for you guys. So you guys have this to save for the week. With SPX, I am liking SPX a lot. With SPX, I'm simply just telling myself that when price did make this new high, price can sell off. Always take that in consideration, price can sell off. Price failed to establish a level of support here, which is okay. Price ended up fail failing to establish a level of support around here, which is okay. But once price started coming to the major low, you can see that price failed to break the low. So the first thing we could have did was I'll go to the daily time frame, so you can see that zone that I have marked up. This zone that I have marked up over here is a high is a high slash resistance level on a daily time frame. If I go look to the left, you can see that price made it high, made a low, but didn't really establish a lower low, give me any clear indication because price did go on a mean bull run, so this pullback was necessary. Once you see price failing to make new lows, making this lower high, then a higher low, you would have seen that price started trading back above this resistance level. Simply just telling myself that if price can trade back above this level, we will be attacking the highs above here. So not to speak too much on that, let's get back to the one hour. Now with the one hour, as you can see, when a price came above here, you could have traded this area, but this area did have a lot of noise. All you would have told yourself is, all right, if I can see price stay above, then I can hop in buys, which would have been around right here. You would have attacked, 
And this could have been a second place of entry because this was a high over here, showing you that price can't come all the way up here, and then ended up making a new high, then trying to take people out. But you kind of would have already got your TP just because you would have seen price over here. And once you seen bearish momentum, you would have just took profits. Why I say we would have just took profits is because if I do turn the sessions on, we were already in New York session. And this was a clean push up to attack this level and failing to make new highs. So you could have waited to establish a level of support here, but because this was this was your entry and you know this was your target, you shouldn't be so worried about if price is trying to establish support when you know this was your when you know this was your main take profit area in the first place, because you want to see price trade above it to hit this. If prices is doing this, then just don't be scared. Take your profits and then just be patient because you can clearly see that price is trying to start a level of consolidation if we don't break this high. So with that being said, I just want to focus on the major highs and the major lows in the market while I'm watching price for the week. I'm just focusing on to see. I just don't want to see price. Oh, I just don't want to see price trade below this zone simply because we are in an uptrend and I want to see if we can catch buys and keep going. But if price does break this level, we will have to go on the higher time frame to establish to establish price action and understand where price could potentially go. What do I mean by that? Simply because if we do see price trading back below the zone, making a new low, expect that price will try to pull up. But when price is pulling back up, you want to simply see if price is going to be establishing support back above this resistance area, aka high that I was talking about on the daily time frame. If price fails to, you will start seeing that price will either trend, trend from here or if price wants to go from here, but you just don't want to see price trading back above this zone right here if a sell play was to happen. So let's just let's say the worst case scenario. You see price making that lower high, establishing that support, but failing to make another new high. You'll see that price will start to trend. And all you want to tell yourself is if you do see this break, you can play risky and hop in the sell position simply because there is a break of structure. And you know that if we come under here, we'll be attacking this resistance level, trying to go back under to attack levels of liquidity, which are AKA lows. So once you see price trending under, you'll simply see this and then price starting attacking this low and then potentially making a new low. This is what you would want to see if price is to sell. You want to see that over here, obviously. So you want to see price failing to stay above. Then you would have seen sells that indication, indication right here. Boom. Then you would have seen price failing to make highs, making another low, trying to break. And then show an establishment of consolidation, but this is just a good indication to show that price really doesn't want to break high. This is why I just want to explain it as simple as possible. Then you would have seen right there. I just want to try to trick you, but just getting weaker and then ended up breaking this level. And that's what you'd want to focus on seeing, simply because when price is selling, it is going to be making lower highs and lower lows. It will not be making higher highs in the market once price establishes a new low. This is why when you're seeing price not breaking lows, price is trying to establish new highs. That's what you have to tell yourself. So now if price is trying to establish new lows, price isn't trying to establish new highs. They're just trying to retest and see how strong are the buyers and see if they could break their trend. What do I mean? Let me show you a clean example. When price made this high, and ended up selling off trying to show how strong price was. But if you do zoom out, you can clearly see that we are above a high and this pullback needed to happen. So price just trading back above was necessary. Now you see price trading back above, giving you an indication that price does want to go higher. Obviously, when price makes a high, you have to expect a pullback. But why this pullback is now better is because not only you could have traded once above this area, took TP and waited again, once price sold off, you would have seen that price once again establish a level of support above this level, which would have caused you A, to either hop in buys right here, or just seen buys and respected it and traded above this level. Why I say above this level is because you see bullish indication. This is a safe zone, and you know that if price comes above this high, we can attack this high and then create a new high, which we end up doing in the past. 
So this is why I just want you to understand that when buyers are selling, they're just trying to establish how strong are the sellers. This is why over here, you can clearly see that price making this new high, trying to establish how strong the sellers are, and the sellers are really strong. They tried to break this level of structure. Now price is going on the pullback. You see that price did come above this high. So since price is coming above this high, it's giving you indication that price could trade back above. Now, if you go back to the lower time frame, you can clearly see that once price made this high and end up making a low back under the zone, not establishing support above this high, then showing you if I go to the, I think, um, 15, then showing you price during New York session started creating a level of weakness and then trading back above the zone. But trading back above the zone, price was making lower highs. So you just want to simply just see how price reacts at this level, because if price does start creating this level of support, expect price to attack these highs. If price doesn't, expect price to start doing this. And why I say don't sell early is because you need your indication first. You need this level to be broken. Until this level is broken, we'll go back to the four hour again. Price can keep on buying up, keep on buying up. So why don't hop in sales in this one and you wait for the indication and then hop in for the breakout because you know that price will be attacking this, trying to make a new low. And that's really it. With that being said, this is the Got Pip Soon with Clockwork. I will be recording it, cutting it up to have all the gems in. I will be sending it to you guys. And that's really it. You guys have a blessed day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.